In this tutorial, we're going to be running the performance profiling test on the RecycleView grid gallery using the Glide image loader library. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. Okay, inside this test, as mentioned, we're going to be running our performance profiling test using the Glide, Android Glide image loading library. Okay, as with the previous test, the previous tutorials, first thing we're going to do is run trace view. So let's select trace view up here. Start that up. Now let's start up the application. Application's now started. Select the application inside Trace View. Now we're going to start the method profiling. Select the OK. OK, now let's try scrolling. All the way to the bottom. Scroll all the way back up to the top. Okay, let's stop that. Let's remove these side panels. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Okay, already, I wonder if I can zoom in here. Okay, what we can see here is we've got a number of FIFO pull threads. So um, that thread's running in their own pull. And what we can see here is you've got 0, 1, 2, 3. So we've got four, four thread pulls running in parallel with each other. So we're utilizing um, the available cores in the device itself devices can have this device has probably got four cores some devices now have eight cores so we're optimizing those so you can see in each one of these pools here we just zoom in here and see what's happening there So there's a lot of green happening here and it's decoding the stream. So it's reading from the streams into the bitmaps here. So we've got all that happening on in the Glide thread here. So it, it's making a proper use of the um, device, the, the, the processor cores and the device itself with these four cores here. And so because we're uh, utilizing the processor more efficiently, we would expect the images to load quicker and a better overall performance here. So I was, yeah, so in the previous tutorial where we did our own optimization, we're just using like a single thread async. And already here by creating your own thread pools here, you, you can do a lot more. They are, they are quite busy and but and also what we note up here is the UI threads running a lot more. So but that's a user experience thing. We can keep scrolling because it's loading the images faster. So there's no big gaps up in the UI thread up here in the main UI thread that we saw in the previous tutorial. Okay, so let's move on to the next test. And rerun the application. And now I'll select the memory tab. Let's look first of all. Okay, we're using 10 megabits, megabytes of um, memory of allocated storage. Okay, so we're starting off with that. Let's try scrolling. We'll expect that allocation to increase.
moved up to 20, so we've doubled. Scrolling back up to the top. Okay. I am seeing a bit of strange behavior here. Um, I'm seeing overlapping of uh, images on top of each other. Let's record that. So, so this is something I haven't noticed before. You'll see these a computer over my face. That's not the image. My, the image is of my face. Um, again, if we look at the dental floss, there's another image sitting over the top of it. So we are seeing slight strange behavior. Let me just keep on scrolling. I just want to take note of So again, we've got over a hundred images that are all being, and we've got the normal behaviors come back again. So that might be something just to keep a, a note of. It's almost like part of another image is being overlaid or integrated into one of the images. Again, you can see it here, my face. So. Potentially could be an issue of glide there, especially under this sort of loading pressure. Okay, let me stop recording that. Okay, anyway, um, I wasn't expecting to see that. That got me diverted a bit. Anyway, we want to see the memory allocation going on here. We've got 22 megabits, so that's, that's quite good. Anyway, let's cause a garb garbage, let's initiate a garbage collection. And we're now dropping down a little bit to 19.5 megabits, so we do save a little bit of memory. Okay, that's the memory part of this test done. What I want to do now is we're going to do the rendering time of the graphics frames. And just let me record the display for this one. Record the device. Okay, so now we're going to show you, show the amount of time it takes to render frames. Let's go to device settings here. Developer options. And we want to prof under the monitoring section, we want to profile GPU rendering. On screen is bars. Let's go back to application. Okay. Again, at the bottom, we've got the time it takes to render a frame. And we've got the green reference horizontal line, 16 milliseconds. Anything over that, not so good. That will show as application stutter. Anyway, let's try scrolling, see what happens. Okay, we are, as you can see, we are seeing a significant amount, especially on the top left-hand side there of um, frames taking long to be re-rendered back to the top so that, that's quite interesting in certain sections there there's going to be big stuttering um, compared to the previous application where we saw very little stutter but then we weren't loading as much images as quickly and displaying them onto the main UI thread so that could be a reason for that Okay, so those are the profiling results we saw using the Glide image library. So we still have a few more tests to run. And remember, if you're not subscribed and you are enjoying my tutorials, it makes sense to click that subscribe button down below. And surrounding me now are a bunch of my social media sites. So if you want to keep more of a closer track to what I'm doing on Twitter, um, follow me on Twitter, we've got Facebook, Pinterest, and Google Plus as well. And that's all for this one. Bye for now. So here we have the rendering of the application. And again, it's the green horizontal line we want to take note of as it uses a reference. 